It's inspiration Wednesdays, guys. How are you doing? Was the heat been treating your garden this summer? For us, it is brutal. The heat in the days is brutal on our garden. But we need the food that is being grown in the garden. So, ends. We have to water regularly, morning and evening, religiously. We must water in order to keep the veggies alive. Anyway, my name is Marie, if you're new here. And this is my container garden, where I grow over 90% of the vegetables that we enjoy in our home. And I share these inspirational videos every Wednesday. Since this is our sixth episode, so since six weeks ago, just to inspire others who would love to grow their own food to grow something, even if it's a tomato or pepper, you're able to grow something and enjoy. And trust me, it's way better, even though it might be a smaller quantity, it is way it feels way better to harvest whatever you grow to eat. And hence the reason for me sharing some of my garden friends across the world with you each Wednesday. Down here. This is the latest addition to my garden apart from the repairs at the lower section and these down here these are my corns I am super proud of but I just killed a worm and I do that every morning my friend Mel Mel has been fighting with her garden not only with the heat of the time but with pests she had lovely pumpkins growing and uh, she just feels a little bit defeated because the pests are killing her pumpkins. I just want to encourage you Mel, despite the, the challenges with the pest girl, continue fighting. She also has lovely corn growing. But before I say any more, let me just have her give you an update on her garden and how it's doing. Good morning guys. An update of my corns and stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, my radishes are coming in. My sweet potatoes growing lovely, and look, I got ginger growing. All right, I, those are our papchos coming in in between, which is lovely. It's growing out of control. I'm trying to groom it, but it is defeating me right now. So I'm just letting it go. Got some down there. And right here. Here we go. Mel, thank you so, so much for sharing. Appreciate you, girl. Continue to grow your food, your corns. Pretty soon you're going to be able to harvest corns from your, your little corn patch there. I am so, so proud of you. And I'm sure everybody else on here are proud of you. Please let her know in the comments, guys. Let her know in the comments how you feel about her continuing with her little garden. Thank you, my lady. guys sometimes when I come out here in the afternoon because I am in sleeveless and no hat because guys I don't come in the garden in the peak of the day because it is way too hot the heat is rising from this the rock that we're standing on and the sun is pounding down on top of my head 
so I come out here in the morning and then in the afternoon late afternoon and sometimes when I come out even though I water now when I come out in the afternoon everything line almost on the last dying so there is no way you can let up for a day I've had a situation where we lost water for one week and everything died completely in the garden in no time so I know the, the heat is on and for you my dear Gregory your, your cucumbers they're looking a little bit on the, the struggling side but your peppers guys take a look at Gregory's garden good morning good afternoon or good night it is Wednesday greetings farming on the block coming to you from where I'm at uh, that onion there right so it's safe me to take it out soon it will come out so if you know me I do threaten him or threaten me though big up yourself Marie as always it's a pleasure a uh, slight update on the garden uh, pepper I had seat right there so nice big pepper looking beautiful and I got a couple more in there uh, they are actually are grown now because we get some rain over there so as much as it's hot they want to get what they want you understand me so you find out say i want to look like i'm ready to come out today you know? we are give my next day or two don't it yeah and um yeah it is a wonderful day today beautiful skies blue and pretty the cucumber they might go out with themselves too you know nah, but like, that one day that one day um that one day i have a couple more depth on it so one day understand me and so one day right but unfortunately my watermelons are marble size kids and be playing with it so i don't know what's going on that one because that trap put on some weight though he might get fat um yeah well kids don't play with them so i don't know what's gonna happen i'm like how this guy now full out rain rain grew with it so we are continue watching them i wonder why they are going to pot soon figure out which one and then the tomato them over there so I go with themselves too so have a wonderful day um yeah and the uh, black get left over this okay I don't know it, but I'm going to get it right now pleasant good afternoon to one and all thank you so much Gregory appreciate you sharing your lovely garden keep on gardening on your block we appreciate you guys let him know in the comments how much you appreciate him please because we do appreciate you guys the squirrel stripped gregory's apple tree of all his apples i think he has one left so when it's not the the heat from the sun when it's not the pest it's the squirrels can't get rid of them right but we still have to do what we have to do because we have to eat speaking of heat let's check out miss andrea she's in canada and you would think that canada is a cool well cold slash cool country and she wouldn't be struggling so much with the heat right she's on a mission to save her tomatoes take a look guys morning miss marie it's andrea um I've moved my container. I keep moving them to the sun, but this time I think it's getting too much sun because all the leaves are quailing on them. But um, yeah, um, it's still getting fruits. Um, see, lots of fruits. And um, yeah, there's gonna be more. I'm gonna move over to my garden box. Um, I have parsley coolie thyme green pepper cayenne pepper my celery my aloe vera i actually bring that in the house um in the summertime i have a few larger ones that i need to transplant i just need to get it done but my cayenne pepper has um peppers on it but it's still it has been only three and the plant is not growing very big so i'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do if I'm supposed to I guess not I'm supposed to just probably just leave them and watch them grow I just hope that I get much more because I'd like to see it ripen on the tree um, 
Yeah, they I've harvested several times for my um, celery and oops, my spade is in the way. Um, yeah, the bean, I again moved it several times because it, it seems to be growing way longer than the stick that I've staked it with. So hopefully I will start seeing some blossom. Oh, maybe. I don't know if that's one or if that's a leaf. Who knows? But I'll see. Um, here are my other tomatoes that I moved as well. Um, I put them closer and less out of the sun. I'm going to say hopefully that will work. And um, the cherry tomato, that one looks like it's turning color, which is good. But I have a leaf that... I guess I can't take off because it's above the fruit, although below this one. So I'm gonna leave it and see what happens. It's doing well. And there's more. Oh, there's another one up there too. So yeah, this is my um, my quick, well, hopefully it wasn't too long, but yes, that's my garden. That's my update. Thank you so much, Miss Andrea. We appreciate you. Keep pushing, keep going. And by the way, the little yellow leaf above your tomato, you can remove it. I might have told you, but yes, you can remove it. Once the leaf look unhealthy, you can. As long as there are enough leaves on top of your tomato to provide it, the plant with energy from the sun, you can remove the bad leaves. And so your, your tomato will do better and produce better. What are in mother or... Me, me. Somebody earlier said they're they, hmm? they not hear the birds. See bird the the bird, what happened is the birds, they're very smart. So because of the hurricane, guys, yeah. the birds, they're lying low. We have a valley down next to us. So the birds migrated to the valley. They're unsure. So they're coming back, but they're coming back, back slowly. My husband just walk across your eyes, no, guys. What, what happened now? The, the trees. And some of the trees the, the blew leaves, down. Yeah, the leaves. The leaves. So them, them like privacy so yeah and the nest some of the nests got dislodged mm -hmm. so the birds kind of iffy so see, see the birds you see them on the light one day the oh. birds are still around guys um i think yeah, there's this one person that is always asking about yeah the birds. it's not one you might not notice but it's more than one person okay. because they are accustomed to the birds singing say good morning say good morning everybody asking for you where he is michael for those of you who keep asking about the baby boy, you keep forgetting his name. He's Mikael. Say good morning. Say good morning. Guys, I'm an early bird, right? I get up really, really early. And so sometimes they're just oh. not awake yet. Oh, a lot of birds. You see it? Yeah. Oh, a bird. <laughs> I won't be able to show the guys, but a lot of birds. Bird. Well, yes, guys, before I was so pleasantly interrupted by my husband and your friend, Steve, I was telling Miss Andrea, thank you. Thank you so, so much for sharing your lovely garden with us. We appreciate you. And if it is you're interested in sharing your watching and you are not sure how to share your garden with us, all you need to do is go to my email. It is in my general description. Send me an email or Instagram picture or photo. Picture and photo is the same thing, guys. This is what me supposed to say, baby? Video. Pictures or videos, photos or videos of your garden, 30 seconds to a minute, and I will share it with the rest of us. All right? Guys, look at this. Our garden is coming back. Guys, thank you so much for the motivation. You say I inspire you guys. You motivate me to get up and come out because Marie is kind of human too, and sometimes I'm not feeling the vibes. But when I read your comments at night, in the mornings, I find myself out here because you are looking forward to seeing the garden and me, of course. <laughs> I'm kidding. You're looking forward to seeing the garden and I can't disappoint you guys. So thank you so much for making Inspiration Wednesdays a success. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for those who support me in the form of super thanks. Thank you for my new members. My channel members, thank you for contributing to my community and to my garden. 
we appreciate you myself my husband and my kids we appreciate you so so much if you're watching though and you've not yet subscribed please go ahead and press that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you will be notified whenever i post another video please remember to like leave your comments guys your comments are super important to us leave your comments share with your friends guys because if you like my videos chances are your friends will like them too all right thank you so much bye bye baby and say bye 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 guys <laughs> say bye Let's say, say bye, bye buddy let's say bye bye come hey go. say bye say bye why am I shy this morning? Why am I supposed to shy? <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> See that sweet papa here right here, so beer. Hey, everything I do better, don't baby? See when, see when we serve up the sweet, see when we serve up the sweet pepper. Where? The sweet pepper, the same one I say beer. Oh, okay. Then far aside.